Good morning, everyone. Well, my oh my, has the weather changed? It has dropped about uh, 20 degrees, and it's super windy and chance of rain. Um, parking in amongst a forest with uh, 20 mile an hour winds last night it was pretty terrifying. I did look at all these trees to make sure trees didn't fall, but you know, if you look behind me, there's literally no campsite without trees. So I guess, you know, could have went to a different campground. But anyways, we survived, at least for now. Now to tackle this. I do believe if I just keep trying to pull out, I'll dig in and then bottom out the frame, uh, which I don't want to do because I want to hit the road. We're going to Sleeping Bear Dunes today. So yeah. I'm going to get the winch out and do a winch pull out assist. That way, um, yeah, I just don't bottom out the frame. So, luckily there are trees right in front of me. So I will hook up to one of these trees and then I'll slowly creep forward. My wife is cooking breakfast for the family inside. So while they do that, I'll get this ready so we can uh, hit the road. hooked up let me just show you here I decided to go with this tree it looks more alive and <laughs> sturdy than this one all good so here's a rope shackle which you need on these back to 55 so it doesn't break those I'm going to start getting the trailer ready I don't know if I'm gonna pull it out just yet because breakfast but uh, yeah so every night I try always to leave the car hooked up, but I take the pressure off of the, the hitch by uh, putting the jack stand down, at least, you know, 50% of the, the weight. So I'm gonna lift up the stabilizers, do that, and then we'll get to winching. without the winch we would have been stuck <laughs> uh, yeah so I didn't air down the tires are at 60 psi but you can see the ruts are completely filled the tread um, yeah it'll be interesting to see the camera there but anyways the reason this happened was because there was a nine inch slope if you will so I dug this hole uh, obviously because my blocks won't level nine inches so I put myself in a rut there and then the the what's it called the car was also three inches high so I dug the rear into a rut as well so I think without these holes one would have been fine you can see it didn't sink into the sand I physically did it but uh, I did it because I knew I also have the ability to pull myself out if I need to Anyways, I'm gonna pack everything up and then we're gonna hit the road. Well, I have now lived to see the day to see a firewood vending machine. Let's see if I get robbed. <laughs> I 
Well, here it is. It was a bit jammed, but there's my <laughs> firewood vending machine. Alrighty. Good morning, good morning. We are here at Platte River Campground uh, in Michigan. We tried to stay at the DH uh, Campground yesterday, but it was closed. One thing is I only winter camp or, you know, off season camp, which you run into these campgrounds closed and also due to COVID, some are open, some are not open, but that's part of the adventure, I guess. Yesterday was a rainy day. Um, so not too much filming. Luckily I got the drone out, got some filming. Uh, we found uh, a DH campground has a, a tent only group site that was open. It was about uh, half a mile off a dirt road. It was kind of sketch because I thought we were going to get stuck because it was all wet. Um, anyways, the scenic part of Sleeping Bear Dunes, the scenic drive and even the Lookout 9 that we want to get to is also closed for cars. So it's about a one and a half mile walk. So today we're going to do that. It is pretty cold. We got little kids, but we'll do it. That's the whole point of this. Um, but yesterday as well, I ended up going about two miles down a dirt ice road, trying to get closer to this uh, Outlook 9. And it was a hilly dirt ice road. And we nearly got stuck. We couldn't go up anymore because we're just all four we were, we was turning. Um, then I had to back down this road uh, about two miles, which is actually, it was wonderful backing down this trailer. I love it, it was fine. But you know, that's part of the adventure and the, and the journey. But let's take a look at the rig and see how dirty it is. So I cleaned both of these before we left, but yesterday it was a, a muddy day. We did do a couple dirt roads. Um, and so far a little, a little, little dirty, if you will but everything's holding up well. A lot of people are concerned about taking these off-road, uh, by off-road, just on dirt roads, and the washboard effect on, on roads will vibrate these things apart. I haven't really found that a case. Um, you just go a bit slower, maybe 30 miles an hour or, or 25. I haven't reduced the air pressure because I'm not doing extended times on the, on the dirt. My tire pressure in my car is actually at 60 PSI because those are E-rated tires up to 80 PSI. So I keep those at about 60. But if I were ever to go extended periods of time, maybe like 15, 20 miles on dirt, those are like 50, I'll probably lower them all to 30 just to get that extra uh, cushion effect. But last night was windy. Um, if you look around me, everywhere in Wisconsin and Michigan, it's just campgrounds in trees. Uh, I've always camped here, but you know, ever since starting this adventure, I've been more conscious about trees breaking at night and falling. Although I've 99% of my life camped in a tent and I've never thought about that, which is more unsafe under trees, and I've never had an issue. But now I'm aware, now I, I think too much. But last night we had about 60 mile an hour gusts, because it was 61 degrees and I was 45 degrees, so that new front uh, was blowing in. But anyways, hopefully today I get some more footage for you guys. Um, no drone footage because the drone cannot handle this. But hopefully we see the Sleeping Bear Dunes. Uh, then we're going off the, over the Mackinac Bridge. But when there's super high winds like this, they either close the bridge or they make you go super slow. And I don't really want to get blown off a bridge. <laughs> so out, there's, a, there's a Twitter account you follow to make sure uh, if the bridge is open or not. But anyways, my wife and kids are having some food. Then there's a dump station right here, which is great. Hard to find dump stations in the winter. There's no water um, that I know of. They normally remove the water fixtures because of uh, the freezing. But right now I've only gone through one 40 gallon tank. I still have another 40 gallon tank and a, another 35 gallon tank on here. And plus I still have the six gallon hot water tank if I need that. So we got plenty of water. I just need to dump the gray and the black tank. Anyways, I'll check in with you guys when we hiking or whenever, but stick around. I told you it was windy. There's Lake Michigan. There's Sleeping Bear Dunes where we're gonna go try to get to now. Some more dunes. Yeah. Sometimes when you find uh, water for boondocking, 
not really in the best sight. But I'd say this one's uh, pretty good. Filling up right here. There's sleeping bear dunes in the distance. But it is chilly. for an hour here it is actually you're gonna see the lake and want to go swimming guess what you're not <laughs> there it is oh it looks windy I might put your camera away Woo -wee. that is crazy all right too much sand I'm gonna put the camera away I'll walk over there and then we'll get some views from up there. Alrighty! I guess this is adventure. Winds are probably about 40 or 50. The bald eagle. Can you see it? I can't zoom in, I'm holding everything. 